And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us in the hadith, مَن لَمْ يَدَعْ قَوْلَ الزُّورِ وَالْعَمَلَ بِهِ وَالْجَهْلِ فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةٌ فِي أَنْ يَدَعْ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ Subhanallah. Within this hadith, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is telling us that alongside giving up food, drink and sexual relations, you must also give up another three things. Did you know this? You must give up another three things in order to fast correctly and completely. What are these three things? And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that the first one is قول الزور قول الزور The word azur is a comprehensive word for every type of falsehood that we know about. قول الزور therefore means false speech, evil speech. That's the first thing that you must refrain and keep away from. False and evil speech. That means we're not allowed to swear during the day as we are fasting. We're not allowed to tell lies. We're not allowed to backbite and slander and mock and insult others. My brothers and sisters in Islam, this is a real matter. Control your tongues during the day. Control your tongues during Ramadan. Yani, we need to control our tongue throughout the year, but especially in Ramadan, it must be controlled. Because when you refrain from eating, drinking and sexual relation, when you do that type of fasting and your stomach is fasting, that the purpose of that is to nurture a taqwa within us. It's to grow this taqwa in us. So part of a taqwa is to leave off evil speech, is to leave off backbiting and gossip and slander and insults and screaming at the people and so on. Leave all that. You must fast from that. The second thing in Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, وَالْعَمَلَ بِهِ And evil deeds, evil actions. So evil actions include the glance of the eye. So that, so that means the eye must fast with you. Look at something that is beneficial, something that is healthy. Avoid looking at the haram. Lower your gaze when you see women whether it's on your phone screen or whether it's in public, wherever you are, fear Allah Azza wa Jal with your eye. Lowering the gaze doesn't only mean to lower it when you see a woman, but also lower it from the affairs of people. Lower your gaze from the affairs of people. My brothers and sisters in Islam, your eye must fast with you as you fast during the day. وَالْعَمَلَ bih. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, we must give up al We must give up evil actions. So that also includes the actions of the E. So your E must fast with you. You're not allowed to listen to something haram. If you want to achieve a complete perfect fasting, your E must fast with you. Don't listen to anything haram. Music is haram. Do not listen to it. Uh, sitting in a gathering in where people are backbiting, it's haram for you to remain in that gathering. Get up and move away. A gathering that is mocking Allah Azza wa Jal and the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And yes, it's unfortunate there are Muslims on TikTok and Instagram and so on that produce mini clips mocking the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do not listen to that. Move away from that. Protect your e from listening to Al-Haram because your E must fast with you. Also, the hands, that's a limb that does action, it must fast with you. So do not touch Al-Haram. Do, don't tap Al-Haram with your phone. Don't type evil speech because if you type something offensive or you type something that's considered backbiting or insults or slanders, that is considered al That's considered evil action and evil speech together. Fafir Allah Azza wa Jal. And notice, subhanAllah, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in this hadith, he mentioned that we must give up evil speech 
before he mentioned evil actions. Look, yes, because this tongue is the thing that will bring a lot of people in Jahannam. It is because of the tongue that many people are thrown in Jahannam. يَوْمَ تَشْهَدُ عَلَيْهِمْ أَلْسِنَتُهُمْ وَأَيْدِيهِمْ When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned that on the day of judgment, the limbs of a person begin to testify against that evil corrupt person, he said that the tongue will testify against him first, then his hand, then his feet. The tongue was mentioned first because this here creates the most evil. You know, watch out for your tongue. Control your tongue. Do not argue. Do not lie. Not even jokes. As the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, whoever, whoever gives up uh, lying, even if it was a joke, Allah Azza wa Jal prepared a house for him in the paradise. So we're discouraged from speaking anything that is evil. You want to speak? Speak good. And the third thing the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us to keep away from in order to completely fast is al-jahl. Al-jahl. Al-jahl is two things. Al-jahl is ignorance. Ignorance. We need to give up ignorance. What does that mean? Ignorance is not implementing the knowledge that you know. That's ignorance. So if you know that praying is obligatory, but you choose not to pray during the day of Ramadan, that is ignorance. You're not fasting completely. Your fasting is incomplete because you haven't let go of your ignorance. How do you know that Salat is obligatory? Then you don't pray. How do you know that Zakat is obligatory, then you do not pay your zakat al-mal. How? Even this is ignorance. And the other meaning for ignorance is the foolish, arrogant character oppressing others. Right? That's impermissible. Especially during Ramadan. If you um, bring out a foolish, arrogant character, you begin to oppress others and you scream at others and you become jahilun alayhim, right? If you, if you become foolish upon the people, your fasting is incomplete. So don't argue with anyone. Don't swear at anyone. Don't raise your voice at anyone. And if someone becomes foolish towards you and someone curses you and someone wants to pick a fight with you, we're commanded that we respond to this person. But how? We say, Inni sa'im, inni sa'im. Don't fight back. Don't respond back. Respond with a few words. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Tell him, Inni sa'im. I am fasting. Say it again. I am fasting. Twice. So when Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he told us, Whoever doesn't give up false and evil words and evil actions, and ignorance and foolish behavior, فَلَيْسَ لِلَّهِ حَاجَةِ فِي أَنْ يَدَعَ طَعَامَهُ وَشَرَابَهُ Allah is not in need of this fasting person giving up his food and drink. Allah is not in need of you fasting.